Well, once we hit the middle of October in southern Indiana, the thought of a new basketball season begins to make its way into our heads. Hoosier Hysteria gave many anticipating fans their first glimpse of Indiana hoops. My co-anchor has more from Assembly Hall. On or around the date of October 15th, Division I basketball programs all around the country open up their practices to the public for the first time during the season. On Friday, the Indiana Hoosiers hosted Hoosier Hysteria in front of a nearly packed crowd at Assembly Hall of fans ready to take the next step forward with the Indiana basketball teams. And they start talking about this being uh, as big a crowd as we've had, right, J.D.? Yeah. You know, since probably Bob Knight started it, right? Since that time frame, I mean, you guys would know better than me. I, I thought it was great, and I'm just going on the energy level alone. And I thought the energy level was tremendous last year, but there's no question it was even better this year. That's how loyal our fans are. It's just, it's just great. You know, they know the history. They know what Coach Crean's building here, I mean, and they know what we want to do here. And uh, this year, it was, you know, it was probably equally, if not a little bit more, a little bit more intense this year. Every time you step out here in front of these fans, uh, you get something new, and. Uh, we got a lot of great opportunities tonight. Got to do some things that not everybody gets to do when you step out there and sing. And I mean, that's just something that you got to run with. But uh, it was everything I expected and more. A lot of fun tonight. Over 13,000 fans came out to watch the men's basketball team host a practice, which included a three-point contest, a dunk competition, and many surprises along the way. We, we snuck in the straight no chaser deal after talking to those guys last night. I mean, everything's... You know, just trying to have fun with it. I had no idea uh, straight no chaser was coming. That was a lot of fun. You know, our team can't sing with anything, but uh, you know, they made us feel like a, feel like part of them. And you know, the fans are great, just cheering us on. You know, we we're missing dunks and you know missing threes, but they're they're uh, cheering like we were making them the whole time. So it was real fun. One of the most heartfelt moments of the night was when 82-year-old West Hovis was honored by Coach Crean. Hovis is currently battling stomach cancer and disobeyed doctor's orders by attending Hoosier Hysteria and cheering on his beloved men's basketball team. I love Coach Crean. He's a good coach, good recruiter, and his personality is real good. You get, you get into a situation like that, a man that age, and he's, and he's fighting health situations like that, uh, it'd be silly to, to, to not do that because you never know if he's going to see another one. And the man has been coming to Indiana games for 50 some odd years. So that to me is just one of those moments. And, and we, I took advantage of a, of a great feeling and, I, and everybody else I think left with the same feeling. Friday's festivities marked the beginning of IU men's basketball and both the players and staff know the difficulty the season entails but have high hopes to hit the ground running and never look back. At Assembly Hall, I'm Courtney Cronin, Hoosier Sports Night. Part of the allure of this year's Indiana basketball team is the top 10 recruiting class that has been added to the fold. Hoosier Hysteria was the six players' first chance to experience Indiana basketball. Mike Flazerstein has more on one of the highly rated freshmen, Maurice Creek. <laughs> In Tom Crean's second year as head coach in Indiana, he's brought in a top 10 recruiting class that hopes to make a big impact this season. Hoosier Hysteria was the first chance for freshmen like Maurice Creek to show what they could do. Oh man, it was great, you know, just like I said, everybody supporting, everybody, uh, you know, just came out here and gave, had a good time, you know, just, that's what it's about. Although the work has been difficult, Maurice Creek and his teammates have been working hard to restore an IU winning tradition. I mean, some got 8 o'clock classes, 9 o'clock classes, you know. I mean, it's, it's all work, basketball, you got to come in, and then you got study hall. So it's all, all of it's hard, but, you know, we get through as a team. This summer was spent in this gym. I mean, I've seen guys in here more than ever, and uh, that's what it's about. It's about getting better, especially when you bring in a new class and that you see them in here working with you. I mean, that just tells you, hey, we're going to be we're going to be fine. We're going to get in here. We love being in the gym, working hard trying to bring back traditions. We're trying to restore some of the ones that maybe needed to be perked back up. We're trying to build some of our own. Creek led the Hargrave Military Academy to a 27-2 record, averaging 18-4 points, and was a first-team prep school All-American. Rivals.com has him ranked 59th overall in his class. You know, it's something I've been waiting for all, like, all my life. You know, come, come November 4th, we'll be ready to uh, blow it up in here. At Assembly Hall, I'm Mike Flasterstein, Hoosier Sports Night. The Indiana volleyball team helped kick off Hoosier hysteria at Assembly Hall against the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hoosiers came into the match on a three-game losing streak, during which they fell under 500 in conference play. Could the Hoosiers use the crowd at Assembly Hall to their advantage? 
Sam Daywig has all the coverage from Assembly Hall. Coming off three consecutive Big Ten losses, the Indiana volleyball team was hoping that a change in venue and a few extra fans would give them the edge they were looking for to come up big against Iowa. The volleyball team kicked off the annual Hoosier Hysteria at Assembly Hall with a three sets to zero win in front of the largest crowd they have seen all season. After a close first set, the Hoosiers dominated in the final two sets with a 25 to 14 and a 25 to 18 win over the Hawkeyes. This was a big win for the volleyball team who has been having trouble with the Big Ten competition. What a great venue to showcase Big Ten volleyball. You know, that's my primary goal when we do this Hoosier Hysteria. There's a lot of people in the stands that have never seen Big Ten Volleyball. So an opportunity for us to come in and play in Assembly Hall where the tradition is, is not matched anywhere in the country. And to, to have, you know, five, six, seven thousand 7,000 people that have never seen a Big Ten Volleyball match be able to see that and get a win, it's a pretty good night for us. I'm excited to play just because of all the fans here for Hoosier Hysteria. And you know, we had a rough weekend last weekend, so we really wanted to come out and prove ourselves, and it was good to get a 3-0 win. I thought that our team came out and fought hard, and we knew what we had to do, and we didn't let that escape our minds at any point in the match. We busted their butts all week long, and that's what it takes in the Big Ten. It's the best volleyball conference in the country, so you can't get down because you lose once, twice, three times. you got to bounce back and be ready to play again. Decked out in pink, this win was even more special, as the Hoosiers celebrated Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We talk about that a lot, playing for something bigger than yourselves. And I think just, again, being able to play in front of this type of crowd and being able to make them more aware of the breast cancer research and things like that, that's why we chose this match, to wear pink and to talk about it and try to get the word out. I think it's awesome that we're able to do something like this. Um, I know that breast cancer is a very big thing around the world, and um, it's really cool that volleyball can do something specific for it. So it's really fun to wear pink and be girly. <laughs> From Assembly Hall, I'm Samantha Daywing, Hoosier Sports Night. Indiana University continued its support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month at Assembly Hall on Friday as the volleyball team wore pink in their match against Iowa. Cody Sherrod has more on the Dig for the Cure. Being that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the IU volleyball team did their part by hosting Dig for the Cure Night to kick off Hoosier Hysteria. The team wore pink shoelaces and headbands while the entire coaching staff wore pink shirts. But perhaps no one stood out more than libero Caitlin Cox, who wore an all-pink jersey. It's awesome that we're able to do something like this. Um, I know that breast cancer is a very big thing around the world, and um, it's really cool that volleyball can do something specific for it. So it's really fun to wear pink and be girly. We talk about that a lot, playing for something bigger than yourselves. And I think just, again, being able to play in front of this type of crowd and being able to make them more aware of the breast cancer research and things like that. That's why we chose this match, to wear pink and to talk about it and try to get the word out, uh, because you get to touch more people's lives. Dig Pink is run by the Side Owl Foundation. For more information and to donate on behalf of the Hoosiers, visit the website below. From Assembly Hall, I'm Cody Sheriff, Hoosier Sports Night. While most of the focus was on the Indiana basketball team getting their season started this past weekend, both the swimming teams began their year as well. Both the men's and women's teams took part in an inter-squad scrimmage Saturday at Councilman Billingsley Center. The men's team is coming off a season in which they finished 5th in the Big Ten and 25th at the NCAA Championship. The Lady Hoosiers won the Big Ten Championship and finished 10th in the nation. Both squads open up their seasons on October 23rd at Northwestern. The Hoosier volleyball team took on the Badgers down to the wire, but who won the game? Stay tuned to HSN for the highlights. And on the other side of the break, we'll toss it over to Ben Heisler with this week's rundown. All this and more coming up on Hoosier Sports Night. 